Do you live in Montreal? Oh, you yeah. do? Then you should come to my show on March 14th at the Corona Theater. Ticket presale goes live on Thursday to people who subscribe to the very, really good Patreon, but general on sale starts this Friday. See you then. Also, hey, check out new merch. It's so cool. Wow, look at that. You can get that at CurtisCarner.com. All right, enjoy the video. Au revoir. Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? How's it going? Good, good. Just uh, just chilling. Thanks again, man, for uh, for agreeing to, you know, film with me. I'm, I'm really excited. This should be really fun. No problem. Um, Sorry if it's, like, echoey. I'm out right now, so hopefully the quality is okay. Did you say you're out? Yeah, I'm not home right now, so I'm just trying to do this, like... I, I'm just recording on my phone, if that's cool. Or do you want me to do, like, a... Do you want me to get a better camera? Do you want me to get a... I'm, I'm sure it's... Is it me? The guy looks exactly like me. Like right behind, literally right behind you. That? Oh, this is your house? Yeah. Let's just do it over here then. Okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's a lot easier for me. I feel like that me. makes, yeah, it makes things so much easier. Sorry, I gotta go, I'm talking to some dumbass. All right, well, what's up? I heard that, obviously. I heard you say that. <laughs> <laughs> call me a dumbass? No. <laughs> mm. Folks. Thanks for coming on the channel, Danny. Yes, Appreciate thanks for it. having me. Appreciate it. Quick question for you. Do you, um, did you have strict parents growing up? I would say relatively strict, yeah. Do I think they were like your relatives? <laughs> yeah. In a relative way, they were strict. <laughs> yeah. They were really strict about being my relatives. <laughs> yeah. They didn't cut any corners yeah. in that sense. We're like, we all related to you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're, I know. We're your parents. <laughs> all right. Yeah, my parents weren't really strict on that. They... <laughs> 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 let my mind run wild with who they were in a way. They sort of let you decide. Yeah. Okay. And it was uh, sort of a nightmare for me and my brain developing. <laughs> I didn't know who they were. Aww. Okay, well, some people's parents obviously are, are, are pretty strict with their curfew <clears throat> and who they're friend hanging out with, mm -hmm. who, you know, what they're watching on TV. Some parents are even strict about like who their kids are dating. Oh, okay. And so much so that MTV, music television, yeah. Okay. Did not know what it was. <laughs> I, just had to, I just had to make sure in my head. Okay. Everything I say, <laughs> you wait like 30 seconds. So we're going to okay, watch the yeah. show. Okay. okay. I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. Yeah, I have a lot of damage from my parents. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe anyone. Well, music television, they made a show called Parental Control. Okay. That sort of follows this um, premise. So I thought I'd show it to you. And you've never seen this? No, I don't think I ever have seen the show. Okay. I don't even know the premise, honestly. I don't okay. know if the parents are controlling or if they're being controlled. I'm excited to find out. My son Josh and I are really good friends. And we got this one little problem, and that's his lady friend. She's a complete and total moron. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty mean right off the bat. So him and his son are best friends, apparently. Yeah. Him. That's funny, because I wonder if his son would agree with that. It's like, <laughs> right. you're my best friend. He's like, <laughs> I'm your son. Yeah. yeah. Also, I thought his issue with the girlfriend was going to be that she's, like, getting him into trouble or something. But he's just like, this girl is fucking, <laughs> fucking stupid. stupid. She's a dumbass. They've been together for six months and are head over heels in love. But Josh's parents have had enough of Crystal, and they're ready to replace her with another girl. So they're both picking out someone new for Josh to date. <laughs> Imagine what'll happen when Crystal sits down with Josh's parents, and they watch the dates together. <laughs> what the- wait! Okay, so this is the girlfriend who's sitting here with them? Yeah, she watches the dates that he and the mom and dad picked out for the son. Damn, nice. Uh, oh, see, you? Josh, nice. And the dad's sitting there being like, see? He doesn't like you. See, Josh, nice. First thing he's It's like she's getting cucked in a way. Yeah, it is. But in the end, Josh will either choose to stay with Crystal or dump her for one of the new girls. Cause that's how things go on parental control. It almost sounds like the narrator wishes it wasn't so, but yeah. he's just like, we don't really know why we're doing this. It's just that's how it just goes on this show. <laughs> Did he edit this show, the kid? <laughs> Show together. It was his whole right. idea. Yeah, in the scenes where they're watching the dates too, the son is behind the camera <laughs> yeah. filming. And he's also being like, see? Yeah. I hate, I hate, I hate you. you. You just break up with her at that point. Yeah. It's such an elaborate. <laughs> Crystal is not as nice to Josh as Josh is to Crystal. I treat Josh just fine. I mean, Josh must be happy if he's been with me for six months and not gonna leave me now. 
<laughs> yeah. It's Does she know what show she's on? <laughs> yeah. I guess not. There's no chance he'll be seeing anyone else anytime <laughs> soon. What's the show again? Crystal dresses like a slut. And I don't mean to impugn the reputation of sluts. He's like, look, I like sluts, all right? <laughs> don't get me wrong, look at my wife. <laughs> Crystal is just really inappropriate with her language. Crystal is always cursing. Okay. Yeah, didn't you just call her a slut? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, literally 20 seconds before. Crystal is always cursing. Crystal dresses like a slut. I'm just picturing the next shot is her get, like dropping something and being like, oh, damn it. And then it just pans over to the dad, like shaking his head, being like, fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your language, you stupid slut. <laughs> I try to tone it down a little bit just because his mom has a heart attack every single time I cuss. If you don't like it, close your damn ears. <laughs> now it's time for mom and dad to pick a new girl for Josh to go out with. Hi, I'm Anna. Monica. Megan. Aisha. See, it's also in my head. <laughs> Aisha. Okay. Cool. Cougar spirit. Maybe they're trying to get an older girl for him. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of their vision board. Back yeah. <laughs> so we want someone with a cougar spirit. I'm an industrial waste inspector. I work at a day program with special ed people. I ride dirt bikes. Oh, yeah, wow. I've been riding since I was eight. I work at Abercrombie. And bitch. Abercrombie. I've never heard of it. And bitch. Oh! I work at Abercrombie. And bitch. Oh. Are they saying what their jobs are? Because one person was like, I work at Abercrombie. And Fitch. And the other person was like, I ride dirt bikes. So I don't know if that is like her actual uh, occupation. She's sponsored. This dirt bike is brought to you by HelloFresh. Dies, <laughs> 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 yeah. Our son's really into politics and current events. So I'm going to ask you a few questions and uh, see how you do. Who's the vice president of the United States? Vice president? This yeah. show's stupid. That's He's the, the president. president. What the fuck? I honestly don't know a vice president. I just had a test on this. None of them know the vice president is. We did it, Joe. Nobody knows who you are. I do not know anything about politics. Well, she's from England. That's OK. Her shirt is Britain flag. Her yeah. shirt is Britain, Britain flag. flag. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a boyfriend? Probably a threesome. What? <laughs> When I say romance, I'm thinking flowers. The mom's hand is like on the dad's shoulder. I think she's like, calm down, sweetie. Fucking <laughs> 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 When I say romance, I'm thinking flower. <laughs> Wait, he's like on the verge of tears. He's getting talked down from a ledge right now. But his voice is so shaky. When I think about romance, I'm talking about flowers. What's your grossest habit? I, what, blah. Wait, what? Her yeah. gross habit is that she gets bad sometimes? <laughs> Disgusting. Blah. Sometimes I like to lick things. Licking what? Anything like the floor. Licking I would the like floor? maybe. Hell, let me give it a shot right now. <laughs> Sometimes I do it. Oh no. Oh no, 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 we get it. You're not even dating the floor, you <laughs> <laughs> So I'm feeling like they don't like any of these girls. Yeah, that's the impression that I got. Yeah, who would you think from any of them that who they would pick? Maybe the girl that rides dirt bikes? I ride a dirt bike. And the dad seemed to think that was cool. Yeah, wow. I've been riding. My vote's for her. I'm pretty nervous to go on my first date. But, you know, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Filmed like a ransom video or something. <laughs> Hell, my, my parents hate my girlfriend. Well, are you my best friend? Are you my best friend? Or is your daddy? What? Oh, we'll see later tonight who's your best friend. Let's see who sucks your dick tonight. Is it gonna be your dad? <laughs> well, son, is it? <laughs> Good I'm glad you can make it. I picked Amanda. I thought she's very sexy and very smart. Josh has his own thing going on. I usually date jocks, but I kind of like his style. Wait, no wonder the dad liked the BMX girl so much. Like, oh, yeah. Is that the dad you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by HelloFresh. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Have, Have fun. fun. Bitch. Bye, bitch. Yeah. Get it, bitch. Let's Come on, see. this ought to be good. We're going down. The car just gets T-boned. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you edit this together to show us that way? You could have just told her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. right. All that lead up. How do you die? <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? I like to do anything that has a little bit of adventure in it. You know, skateboarding, snowboarding, playing sports. So he is a jock then. I usually date jocks, but I kind of like his style. But she usually dates jocks. <clears throat> jocks. 
Josh. You usually did Josh. <laughs> yeah, go. she's cute. I think I babysitted a girl her age once. <laughs> she's your age, knucklehead. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the most offensive word you could say to someone. <laughs> Knucklehead. <laughs> that was too far. <laughs> Look, like, I can deal with being slut shamed all day. <laughs> Call me that slur. Knucklehead. <laughs> oh look, she's a cheater. That's good. It's ice skating. It's not like you're cheating with three men in a night. <laughs> Please, I've never cheated on Josh. Yeah, and I've never had a donut. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a really an honest confession. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I've never had one. What do they taste like? Can someone tell me? <laughs> I wish it wasn't cool. I wish they could have like an ice skating rink that was warm. Um, a warm ice skating rink? It's called a pool. Hello? That's pretty funny. Girl. You know, the ice melts, turns into a pool. You hear the dad's thoughts for a second, he's just like, I actually don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> she, I don't know. He's a fucking moron. <laughs> ice doesn't melt. <laughs> ice. <laughs> Crazy take. Ice doesn't. <laughs> ice doesn't melt. Complete and total moron. I think it should go both ways. I don't like a guy should feel like the girl cares about him too. It would definitely feel nice. He's looking right into her eyes. Right into her eyes. He looks interested in her. She has such a kiss ass. The interaction that of the parents with their girlfriend is so weird because it's like they obviously like each other enough to cooperate with the show, right? Like right, if, if yeah. I was the girlfriend and the parents actually hated me and I was worried my boyfriend's gonna get like swept off his feet by some girl, I'd be like, I'm not doing, I'm not gonna be on the show. Right. This sounds like a nightmare for a nightmare position for that girlfriend to be. In. So it's like they actually do kind of like each other and they're like they're playing it up, but like every time it cuts them, they're like rolling their eyes at each other. And right. like I just feel like eventually by now it would have escalated to like. It cuts thing. back to them. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it cuts back, there's no talking. <laughs> We're not even watching the day anymore. He <laughs> goes back to his family, they're all fucking dead in the living room. So my dad's pick is on her way. You know, if I already guess, my dad would definitely pick a really cute girl. I wonder if it's dirt bike girl. Crystal! What? You want a sandwich? Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, stop! They actually hate each other so much. Hi, Hi. How, How are you? you? I think it is. It is. She came, she drove up in a regular car though. Maybe she combined two <clears throat> dirt bikes into one car. Two motorcycles with a little house in the middle? What are you gonna do if he has a good time? Josh isn't gonna have a good time. He's gonna fake it for you guys. And then it'll be over Just with. because he fakes it for you. Doesn't Please. mean he'll fake it for us. What are they talking about? I don't think guys can do that. Can't oh, really. I'm coming! And he's like, just behind him and gets some like mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> he grabbed the ketchup and actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, you made me mustard. <laughs> it just looks like that sometimes. I swear. Ew! Look how skinny she is. Damn. Why? Nice. She's got no boobs on her. She's got no ass. She's got no nothing. There's things that are more important to look. Maybe to your dumb ass. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes they have like a clever comeback. Like the donut <laughs> thing is like, sure, and I've never had a donut. Right. And sometimes she's just like, shut the fuck up, dumbass. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I have nothing to lose. Ew, is that her vagina? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. is it? Can't show this on TV, you guys. You know you shouldn't be filming this, right? Oh, <laughs> rolling their eyes while I'm just saying this. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let them over for China. Come <laughs> on, man. He's about to muster. <laughs> Our darling boy's about to muster. One good quality I'd look for in a girl. Huh? A girl who's able to spoil me. <laughs> He's opening up to her. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like really worried that he was gonna have a boner. So. <laughs> Seriously? I feel like even just going on this show, you're already being like, yeah, I kind of don't like my girlfriend. Because obviously, going on a date with someone who isn't your girlfriend would be like, 
I don't want to do this at all. I love my girlfriend. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. So like, why would even like? And he's like, seemed to be having a really good time. He's like flirting with them and stuff. Being like, oh nice, you have a vagina. That's awesome. Those title screens that were like, my parents hate my girlfriend. It's like one of them is like, and so do I. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to get rid of her. This is the only way. <laughs> so what do you think of me so far? In one day, you've already done more for me than my girlfriend has in the past couple months. Oh, I feel bad, but you deserve better than that, you know? So did you learn anything that you could massage me? Yeah, you want to find out? All right. Right for the toes. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> About to throw up in my mouth. That went extremely well. If I were you, I'd be swearing and nervous and upset. I feel like she's been swearing nervous <laughs> and upset the whole time. Yeah. I don't know what's going through Crystal's head, but you know, I've had a lot of fun with these girls. We're gonna have to see. It's gonna be a really hard decision. If he was gonna pick anyone other than his girlfriend, I feel like it'd be Dirt Bike Lady. Dirt Bike Lady? Yeah. yeah. I know Josh is gonna have to make a choice, but I know he's gonna pick me. I'm not even worried about it. If Josh was standing there like that, like, guy standing meme. <laughs> His posture is fucked up, dude. He's, like, slanted. Yeah. Sorry, I had a stroke <laughs> in the other room. Yeah, it's sort of, that's a good metaphor for how they really treat. They're, like, spending so much time hating on her <laughs> that they're neglecting <laughs> their actual sign. <laughs> Boy, get in here. Coming. You all are amazing girls, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let one of you go. Just one? Nikki, Whoa. I had a lot of fun on our date today, and I think you are a beautiful girl. But if I were to be honest, I'd say that beyond your looks, I just don't think that there was much there. I'm gonna have to say goodbye <laughs> to you right now. Oh my god, that Jesus, was so mean. Man. Beyond your looks, there's not much else there. There's nothing about you. <laughs> <laughs> she dirt bikes, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So he never t asked her about it. or asked He her. probably doesn't even know because he wasn't at those initial auditions. And he also said, you've done more for me than my girlfriend has done in the past like six months. Yeah. And then he sends her home first. You are an amazing girl and a lot of fun, but I think you might be a little bit too immature for me. And Crystal, the last six months have been amazing, but I really feel like you take me for granted. So I've thought long and hard about this, and I've finally decided. I'm going to end my own life. He <laughs> 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 loved her the most, he wanted her to see it. outside doing a confessional she's like I'm glad he didn't pick me oh, she just <laughs> oh my god what Amanda <laughs> oh my god I'm so happy Amanda I think you may be a little too immature for me <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had so much fun and I think our chemistry is gonna last a while. It looked like she did not agree as he was talking. Yeah, <laughs> so sad. Well, damn, what did you uh, what did you think of that show? I thought it was pretty messed up. I thought it was a pretty messed up premise. And I, I'm always so confused about shows like this. Like, how did the parents find this show? Were they Googling, like, how to get rid of son's girlfriend? And yeah. then, like, an application for the show comes up? Yeah, they were trying, they were plotting a murder. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was pretty much the video. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on the, the channel, Danny. Always a pleasure. I treasure this friendship so much. It's going to last forever. We're both very happy you tuned in. We're both very happy we did it. But yeah, like it, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe. Go check out Danny's channel. Yeah, check the description for all that shit. We're, we're going to uh, go ice skating now. <laughs> and dirt bike and ice skating. Fucking smile for the camera. Knucklehead. Oh my god, is that Curtis Connor? I yeah, think he just yeah, hit 4 million guy. subscribers. Yeah, he just hit 4 million subscribers on YouTube. That's so many That's people. Wow. I hope it doesn't go to his head. I hope he's still the same humble, nice guy we've all come to love. Yeah, I deserve all of this and more. No! I'm just kidding around. I don't deserve this at all. But thank you so much for 4 million subscribers. That's crazy. So thank you for letting this be my life. Dude, I'm on tour right now. I'm in Kansas City. KC in KC. So thank you. Yeah, sorry if the setup looks a little uh, janky right now. I'm in a hotel room. I got a desk here. I feel like I'm on a late night show. Oh, what movie are you in? <laughs> so funny. That was me being Jimmy Fallon. Okay, let's get into this video. Uh, finding love is tough, right? It's difficult. You know, these days there's so many apps and websites that people are using to uh, find significant others. You know, you got Tinder, Bumble, 
Grinder. You know, then there's the more specific ones like Farmers Only, J Date, Plumbers in Love, Mormon Match, Underwater Dating. The list goes on and on, man. And yes, I made up those last three. What are you gonna do about it? No, you're gonna cancel me? Snowflake. Uh, finding love is hard, you know? But it's all we want. It's all humans ever want. All we wanna do is give love and be loved. And I'm sure people, they just get worn down, sick and tired of failed relationship after failed relationship. And I'm sure people are thinking in their heads, God, I wish I could just create my own perfect partner. And I'm, I think I just described the plot of Pixel Perfect. <laughs> Literally the plot of that movie, but I'm not I mean, we're not talking about that incredible awesome movie today I'm sorry. We're not talking about any movie today We're not talking about a movie or a bad show or a weird tick a cringy TikTok guy this week We are talking about a real-life love story that I find truly fascinating So a few weeks ago I had like hundreds of people send me an article titled woman Mary's ragdoll and now they have a baby first off kind of fucked up to put all those quotation marks You know what I mean? I mean, that's it's really mean. Yeah, a woman marries Ragdoll and they have a baby. But I realized after a little bit that people weren't sending me this article as like um, something to react to or talk about in a video. No, 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 no. They were sending me this article because the Ragdoll husband in question looks exactly like me. Look at this guy. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at this raggedy identity thief. That's literally me, man. Look, there's literally no difference. Same guy, that's me. I mean, I will say it does feel nice that even with endless possibilities of what your ragdoll husband would look like, uh, you chose to make him look exactly like me. <laughs> I guess I'm the I guess I'm the peak male specimen, I guess. Damn. <laughs> I mean, my bones crack every time I bend down and I can't think of the movie Wally -E without crying, but this is it. Soak it in. This is peak male performance. Sorry. As in take a peek at this male's performance. You won't be disappointed. So I thought we'd go through this article today and find out about this love story together cuz you know what? I got to get to the bottom of this. Thank you, that was my impression of James Cameron when he saw the Pacific Ocean. Cause he got, he, cause he got to the bottom of it. Oh. So sorry about that perfect joke. Let's, uh, let's get into the article. Let's find out about this marriage, shall we? A woman who claims to have fallen in love with and married a ragdoll said they now have a baby together. Also, I don't want to say the wife's real name, so we're just going to call her Mary, okay? So Mary says it was love at first sight when she met Marcello, a toy ragdoll that her mother made. Just a quick question for the wife. If your mom made the doll, wouldn't that technically make him your brother? Okay, I wrote here in the script, play the entire blood-related music video in asterisk, so... Uh, we'll see if I have the balls to go through with that bit. I don't think I'm gonna have the balls to do that when I'm editing the video, but I didn't have the balls. Back to the article. The couple got married in a beautiful ceremony that was attended by 250 guests. I mean, 250, okay, that's a, that's a big wedding. I'm assuming all of those guests are Mary's, right? I don't. <laughs> I don't think Marcello had any of his family members at the wedding. Dude, like I can't, I think the, the, the mom has gotta be regretting her decision like crazy. You know what I mean? You know, she probably made this rag doll for her daughter as like this fun, harmless joke or something. And then when her daughter met Marcello, she was like, oh my God, I'm in love, I'm in love with you. I, I, I love Marcello, I'm gonna marry you. And now the mom probably has to like construct a bunch of other rag doll family members for Marcello, has to like, come up with a whole life story for him and shit. Imagine there's like a cork board in like the mom's basement with like red yarn tying everything together, which is pretty fucked up because I'm pretty sure that's what he's made of. Uh, but I found a few videos from the wedding and everybody's very happy, you know, and supportive of this relationship between Mary and Marcello, which is great. They also had a TV news network cover the wedding. And then the bride and broom, or sorry, so sorry. Bride and groom, I said. They shared a beautiful first dance together where Marcelo was uh, tied to a hand truck. And honestly, dude, I fuck with it, all right? Every first dance should be like this. There's too many husbands out there who just aren't very good at dancing, and we should save them the trouble and the embarrassment, okay? Put them in a wheelbarrow or something and just fucking... 
move them around, you know? I think that'd be great for everybody involved. If my first dance ain't like this, I don't want it. Okay, I'm also thinking more about this wedding. Like, do you think Marcelo had like a best man, you know? Or, or like a best rag doll, a best rag doll? Or a ba like a bachelor party? Did he have a bachelor party? Probably not, right? I, I doubt the mom rented out an entire strip club and then created a bunch of rag doll strippers for him and his rag doll friends, you know? It's, that's above and beyond. I'm also thinking like, obviously it's tough when you get out of a relationship and then into a new relationship and then you're adapting to that new one, right? It's very difficult. But could you imagine going from a rag doll and Mary and Marcella were, were ever to break up and then Mary dated a human after that? Could you imagine? Wait, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Oh, do you mind if I uh, hop in there with you? <laughs> That's the bad, that's a terrible idea. You'd be sopping wet. You'd be dripping water all over our house. I would just use a towel to, to dry off. All right, let's clean you up. Into the washing machine you go. Wait, what? Husbands go in the washing machine. Maytag, put your husband in there. Uh, okay, back to the article. It was a wonderful day for me. Very important, very emotional. He is a man I always wanted in my life. Married life with him is wonderful. He doesn't fight with me. He doesn't argue. And he just understands me. Marcelo is a great and faithful husband. He is such a man, and all women envy him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not he doesn't fight or argue with me. It's he literally can't fight or argue with me. You know what I mean? Oh my you know, the more I talk about Marcelo, the more I'm realizing he is the perfect man. He's soft to the touch. He's handsome as hell. He's super handsome. I, there's, I, I can't just, I, there's no words that can even describe how handsome Marcelo is or any other guy who sort of resembles him. It, he's just so handsome. And also his best trait, he can't talk. <laughs> Fellas, listen, this is what women want, okay? Seriously, don't go to the gym, don't get a nice job, don't buy the fancy clothes or the nice car, they don't fucking care about that, okay? Sit down and shut up, okay? And also have no bones, I guess. Maybe just one bone, am I right? <laughs> Your penis. Back to the article. However, Mary said that she has left struggling to pay the bills as the sole breadwinner. She admitted he has so many great qualities, but the only downside is he's lazy. He doesn't work at all. <laughs> but I am a warrior and I keep it going for us. Okay, this has to be a bit, right? Don't get mad at him. He's a fucking, ra he's a ragdoll. What else? He's literally doing what ragdolls do. That's so mean to call him fucking lazy, you know? Hey! What are you doing sitting on your ass all day, huh? What do you mean nobody wants to hire a rag doll right now? That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous, okay? Get up off your ass. Get a job. Excuse me? Am I on the rag? I could be. <laughs> Come here. You know, as much as I jest, who am I to pass judgment? These two sentient beings are in love. That's it. That's amazing. There needs to be more people like Mary and Marcello in the world, and they're aware of that, okay? So, like the article said, they had a baby. They didn't adopt or anything like that either. Uh, they didn't just go to a value village and find some sort of human doll that to, to, to take home. Mary got pregnant. I, I, I don't even want to begin thinking about the, uh, how, how that, how that happened. I don't want to think about that, so I won't. I'm thinking about it. But yeah, Mary went into labor. Labor? I hardly know it. And, uh, delivered a baby, and they actually live-streamed the baby delivery, which is always nice. Oh shit, it's a boy! Let's go! Let's get some blue heart emojis in the chat! This baby is poggers! Uh, but the birth was very interesting, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so there's the, the doctor trying to calm Mary down. And then they do an ultrasound that I think is just playing a loop of, like, ultrasound stock footage. And then we cut to this hilarious shot of Marcelo sort of just propped up against the wall. <laughs> uh, my, my guess is that he was so excited for his, his baby that he just sort of passed out and then they just left him there, I guess. Aww. And this part's weird. I'm pretty sure this is where the nurse, the one nurse walks over to this table. She does something at the table and then when she turns around, this is when you start hearing a baby cry. Marcel! 
So I think the nurse just played audio of a baby crying, some like stock audio <laughs> of some random fucking baby. Now that I think about it, that's kind of fucked up. Whoever records crying baby sounds to upload to like YouTube and sound effect libraries. Is it just some fucking asshole dad that's like, oh yeah, that's good, right into the microphone, buddy. Yep, keep crying, keep crying. I mean, I guess you will keep crying because I'm not, I'm not taking care of you, so <laughs> nice. And this also opens up a huge like discussion about lore, like ragdoll lore, you know? Like there's, <laughs> we know Marcelo can't really talk. No one's heard him talk, but ragdoll babies can talk? Not talk, but they can, they can cry, right? They can cry and you can hear it. So they, are, you, are you telling me the only sounds that ragdolls can make are, are sounds when they're crying? What a terrible life to live. Ragdolls, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you gotta, that, that you live a life like this. That's, it's a drag. Ragdoll more like drag doll. Okay. okay, so this is the part where the doctors pull out little baby Marcelino, that's his name. And this part is fucking so weird, okay? I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here, you know, do whatever, you, I don't fucking care, do what you want in your life, but this part is so fucking weird, man. Cause you know how babies are born and they're just babies, you know? They're like, oh, that's a baby that just came out of a person. This. Fucking video. The baby, it comes out wrapped in some like weird alien like red plastic bag with a weird yellow tube sticking out of it. It's taped to it. What is, what is that? Tell me what that is, please. Is it like, is that supposed to be like the, like the sac, like the embryonic sac in the fucking umbilical cord? You just yanked it out of her? I mean, I've never seen a childbirth in real life, so I don't, you know, I don't know what it looks like, but I know for a fact babies aren't delivered in red plastic bags, okay? They're delivered in tiny white cloths in a stork's mouth. You know, they unwrap this fucking gross red plastic bag and uh, out pops the, the little ragdoll baby. Hooray! He's a little baby doll. He's a little, he's a goo goo doll. And okay, this is the part that sort of just starts to, you know, rub me the wrong way, okay? I don't want to accuse Mary of anything nefarious, but if this relationship between you and Marcelo is really real, it's totally 100% genuine and real, and it's, and it's just about love, and that's it. What's with the TV news network covering your wedding, and then on top of that, you live streamed your childbirth? And now you're making a bunch of TikToks to your six digit followers, man. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, everything else about this thing is totally normal, but that's the part that I find strange. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I don't want to knock anybody's hustle. You know, if this is, if this really is just for like attention and clout or money or something, I don't know how you make money from this, but get the bag is what I'm saying. Even if the bag is fucking bright red with a weird yellow tube coming out of it, I don't care. I also, I did a bit of research and um, there's actually a thing called object sexuality or objectophilia, which Wikipedia defines as a sexual or romantic attraction focused on particular inanimate objects. And you know, sexuality is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spectrum, right? That's what they say. Everyone likes different things. Who are we to judge? I'm not well versed in this subject at all, but from the little bit of research I've done, it's more common than you think. And people, people are doing this, right? For example, Erica Eiffel, uh, if you want to guess who she married, she married the Eiffel Tower back in 2007. And uh, she's been getting Eiffel Towered ever since. And I'm oh, sure yeah. she's having the best life ever. You know, and I also saw another story about a woman in 2020 marrying a briefcase. Talk about baggage. And I know I just made a bunch of jokes about um, this, but if it's not hurting anybody, then fucking who cares? You know what I mean? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just taking the piss out of it. Honestly, I think down the line somewhere, I am related to Marcelo. The resemblance is, is undeniable. So... It's kind of fucked up that I wasn't invited to the wedding, but it's fine. We would have had an awesome bachelor party at that uh, Ragdoll strip club, but whatever, man. That should be me holding your head. I think that's enough of me ragging on these people. Uh, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Hey, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh, quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week so you can savor summer flavors right from home. And speaking of summer flavors, folks, it's that time of year. You want to impress your friends at your next barbecue? Try grilling up HelloFresh's cheese stuffed burgers with pesto aioli. Or hey, maybe a grilled salmon with balsamic tomatoes. Are you kidding me, dude? Those sound so good. And look, I know you're saying to yourself, but Curtis, I'm a globetrotting socialite with the hottest future ahead of me. I'm not home every Every week for a weekly meal delivery service. That's fine. HelloFresh knows that and they got you covered because their plans are flexible as heck. You can skip a week, change the delivery date, change the serving size of your delivery, and so much more, all with a couple taps in the HelloFresh.
HelloFresh app. And while we're on the topic of the app, this week I accidentally threw out all the recipe cards for the meals I got, uh, like an idiot, but they had all the recipes right on the app for me to look through, so I wasn't even stressed for a second. And also, I know how hard it is to eat healthy consistently, but with HelloFresh, it's so easy. HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it super easy to stick to your goals and just feel better about what you're eating every day. And HelloFresh isn't just healthy for you, it's healthy for the planet. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. Folks, this is just a no brainer, okay? We've been eating HelloFresh every week for like three years now and honestly, I cannot recommend them enough. The food is delicious, the recipes are easy to follow and it just makes our lives so much easier and stress-free. And now's the perfect time to give them a try because I got a great deal for you. Just click the link in my description or go to HelloFresh.com and use code CurtisTown16 for up to 16 free meals. And oh yeah, also three surprise gifts. Yeah, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and so many other videos over the years. Uh, again, I hope you check them out because it helps me out, helps out the channel when you guys check out the sponsors and you're gonna be getting some delicious food. So everybody wins here, dude. So yeah, click the link in the description, CurtisTown16. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, back to me. Bye. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button uh, because believe it or not, one like equals one husband in the washing machine. That's where they belong. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about all this. Um, let me know if you've ever uh, had experience with a, a, an inanimate object. Uh, never mind. You can subscribe if you want because I make a video all the time and as soon as you subscribe, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you didn't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me, it's the law. You can check the description for other things that I do, my podcast, Twitter, Instagram, all that crap, my merch, tour, I'm on tour right now, come see me on tour, the shows have been incredible so far and I hope to see you at the rest. All right, I would stick around but I have to go. Um, I have a long lost brother apparently that I need to go talk to, goodbye. Hey guys, I'm in a different hotel room now. Please help me, I wanna go home. Okay, folks, uh, if you couldn't tell, I am still on tour. The shows have been absolutely incredible so far. Um, we got a few more coming up, so check out the description and get your tickets. But yeah, thank you to everybody who's come out, shown support and everything, it truly means the world. But since I'm on the road, I unfortunately don't have the time to make the longer, uh, more complex videos that I want to make because I'll be honest, being on tour, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Honestly, it's hard to describe if you've never done it. I feel like being on tour, it's kind of like, it's kind of like playing Minecraft for the first time. It's overwhelming, confusing, and sometimes you lose all your stuff in a fire. So I thought this week, uh, we'd turn back the clock a little bit and do something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that is take a look at a TikTok boy. That used to be my bread and butter, man. It's been a while since I've done that. And I'm aware that it's not 2019 anymore. You know, they say cringe culture is dead, but I think we need to resurrect it. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Erect. But no, I'm being serious. We need to resurrect it, okay? Like Jesus coming out of his cave and he's been doing just fine. I gotta be down. Because I found a fella on TikTok who makes videos that are very, very funny to me. I don't think they're inherently bad or harmful or anything. They just confuse me a lot and make me laugh like crazy. So I thought we'd take a little look at them and uh, do a little, just a little bit of goofing around. Maybe just like a tiny bit of tomfoolery. Uh, so the person that we're gonna be taking a look at today is named Alex Galorno, I think. Galorno. He has 2.7 million followers on TikTok and he also streams on Twitch. I actually watched a little bit of his Twitch stream a couple days ago and he's kind of cracked at Apex. I'll, I'll give it to him, all right? A gamer respects a fellow gamer when he sees one. Okay, but that's not what the video's about. We're gonna take a look at his TikTok. So without further ado, let's uh, TikTok. Let's TikTok. If only girls knew how much of a simp I was. Like I'll be scrolling through on Twitter or something and I'll just see some pretty girl just post something. I'm just... They wear a pretty outfit or if you like actively seek out hugs from me or like my favorite one is when like just randomly out of nowhere you just randomly start like scratching my head i'm like a golden retriever so yeah he's uh he's one of those types of guys he'll make a lot of like thirst trap type videos but not the physical kind you know not the type where a guy will lift up his shirt and be like yo look at look at all my look at all the abs i have all of them <laughs> I have every ab. This guy does the emotional thirst trapping. So instead of lifting up his shirt to show you his abs, he'll lift up his shirt to show you his heart. Oh. I'm also really not sure what the point of this video was. All he said is that like he likes when a girl touches him or 
actively seeks out hugs. Which like, isn't a weird take really, that's super normal. And also what does actively seeking out hugs mean? Or if you like actively seek out hugs from me. I've literally never heard anybody say that before. <laughs> that really fucking threw me for a loop, man. That just makes me think of like some girl in like an FBI surveillance truck <laughs> with like a bunch of screens and shit. And she's like, dispatch. I have a potential hug about 450 yards away. Uh, there seems to be a lonely man crying on a park bench. He could really use a hug right now. You have clearance. Go in for the hug. Thank you, sir. I love my job. I'm never gonna make the football team. I'm so stupid. I just keep getting tackled. <laughs> sir, do you need a hug? Who is that? I would like to give you a hug. Slow down. Not again. Okay, let's watch another tink tonk. Picture this. I'm in the room playing video games. You walk up behind me and wrap your arms around my neck, placing your head on top of mine. You wait patiently until I'm not distracted by the game, and you pull the headset off of me. Smiling at me, you take your finger and lift my chin up, and you kiss me Spider-Man style. Okay, I gotta say, dude, he this guy's smart, all right? He's making content that is very calculated. Because honestly, this felt like he was uh, talking directly to me, okay? Got a little flustered. He's basically doing the, the Night Changes music video treatment, but for TikTok. You know that One Direction video where it's like, hey, look, look, you're dating every member of One Direction. Isn't that cool? This is you. This is literally you, but only if your skin is white. Remember that? This guy's doing the same thing. Well, I mean, except for the last part. He's promoting a fantasy is all I'm saying. Because I'm sorry to break it to you, this is nothing more than a fantasy. This is a fantasy. Because if you're dating a hardcore gamer, you can't do this. You cannot do this. You can't go up to them while they're in a hardcore gaming session and kiss them Spider-Man style, right? You fucking puke from the smell. This is how the video should have went. Picture this. I am in the middle of a League of Legends game, about to close it out, and my brawless wife brings me a sandwich, not asked for, with chips, as I get a double kill bot lane. So how is your day going? But hey, these videos aren't even his bread and butter. Yeah, these are just the intros. Let's watch the videos that seem to always pop off on this guy's page. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I want your voice to be my alarm? Think about it. You wake up in the morning, and the first thing that you hear is the love of your life's voice asking you to wake up. And secondly, is it weird that I'll just give you the password for my phone? Like, I personally don't see anything wrong with you having access to my phone. A lot of people have told me that this stuff is weird, so is it? Oh god, I love these videos so much, man. Okay, so this is the format that he usually does in most of his videos. He'll start the video with, Ladies. I have a serious question for you. And then he'll say something that he likes that's like super generic that pretty much everybody loves. And then he'll end it with um, a lot of people tell me this is weird, so is it? And hey, it's not, it's really not. It's not weird to to wanna wake up beside the person you love or give your phone password to your partner. Like that's not weird. That's not a weird thing to want. And I felt like an asshole because I went down to the comment section and everybody was just fucking <laughs> eating this up, like this comment. How can someone be be funny and, hold on, what the fuck? Okay, how can someone be funny and romantic at the same time? IGK, LOL. Damn, that's a good question. I actually don't know how I'm so funny and romantic at the same time. <laughs> I'm actually perfect. Well, I also saw a very funny comment on one of his videos, but we need to watch a little bit of that TikTok so uh, you can understand the comment. I want so bad for a girl to just walk up to me, start playing some music and us just start dancing together. That sounds adorable, good job. But look at this comment. What state are you from? If you're a close, I will do it. Like this person was just like fucking finally fed up with all the videos and was like, all right, fine, fine, I'll fucking do it. You want, I'll do it. Stop talking about it, okay? Where do you live? Because I will travel, but not far. And like I said, these are these videos are harmless, okay? It's fine, I don't fucking care. But yo, it is so genuinely funny to thirst trap about how good of a boyfriend you could be. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I would become best friends with your dad? Oh. I don't know, I just can't stop thinking about how I would never ever leave the toilet seat up. Oh. I'm so sorry, I probably sound crazy right now, but I, I would carry the child in my stomach, just so you wouldn't have to feel any pain. Oh. Another interesting thing about these TikToks is he captions every single one stream things, which leads me to believe that uh, he records all of these while he's streaming live on Twitch. 
bitch. And honestly, I respect it, okay? It's one thing to film these types of videos by yourself, but to film these in front of people watching you live on the internet, you gotta have some ball. You gotta be actively seeking out balls, balls to be able to do that. You know, I've streamed on Twitch before. It's, a, it's pretty overwhelming, you know? There's a lot of distractions and stuff going on. You gotta be a cognizant of a lot of things. So I can't even begin to picture how he films one of these while he's streaming. Ladies, I have a very serious question for you. Really? Really, chat? I fucking told you not to donate shit while I'm doing my fucking TikToks. This is, it takes a lot out of me, okay? It's fucking distracting, so thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, give it up. Whoa, thank you. Thank you so much for the 500 fucking dollars. Thanks, you ruined it. All right. From the top, fuck. Ladies, I have a very serious question for you. Is it weird that I'll just take you out to a dinner that costs exactly $500? Okay, let's watch another one. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I shop for new clothes for you like every day? Like I will go through every single one of your favorite clothing brands and I will just go through and find things that I think you would look really good in. So I know these TikToks are you know, like they're, they're him talking to like his hypothetical girlfriend. I understand that, but like all he's saying is ladies, you know, like who he could be talking to every lady in the world, right? Like we don't know. And if he was, that'd be so goddamn funny. This video would be crazy. If it was addressed to every single lady in the world, his life would be a fucking nightmare. He's just constantly all day just buying new clothes for every woman in the world. Hey, yeah, is this uh, is this the gap? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna need all, all of it. All of it? Yeah, all of it again, again. Again? Yeah, it's me. Double yeah. it. Thank you. Double Thanks. it. Thank you. Double it. Triple it. Double it. Triple it. I need all of it. Yeah. Yeah, is this Aritzia? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's me again. I'm gonna you need double yeah, it. I need all the All the leggings, sweaters, yeah, fucking we're gonna need a credit socks. card. I need all of it. All the credit card? Uh, uh, I need it. I, no, it's fine. I I'm good for it, okay? Order it, send it to me, I'm good for it, okay? Trust me, I'll get shoes, shirts, fucking... You got it? Okay, thank you. Any hoes, Okay, fine, we'll do it. Fine, fine. Well, I'm sorry. Is this weird? I'm doing trying to get clothes on the ladies. Fuck off. 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 What's the use? This is impossible. There's too many clothes and too many ladies out there. Hello? Hey, is this Alex? Yes. Oh my god, you did it! Did what? You did it! You bought so many clothes that all the companies had to hire more workers to fulfill the orders, thus ending the unemployment crisis. Nobody will ever know poverty ever again thanks to you. Uh, are you serious? Yes, and they're building a statue of you right now! Oh my god! Get to the White House ASAP! Oh my go. god, okay! You're uh, the new president of Okay. Earth. Go! I'll go, see you soon! Go. Okay, okay, bye! Is it weird to save the world? Okay, let's watch a few more. Ladies, I got a serious question for you. Is it weird when I try to cuddle? I want you to put your full weight on me, but each and every time you're always so scared, <laughs> you're gonna crush me even okay. though I want you to. Okay, I think he's sort of just like confessing uh, kinks now, you know? Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I want you to kick me in the balls as hard as you can and then call me a little bitch when I inevitably start to cry and then push me down a flight of stairs and pour a bucket of scorpions all over me? Is that weird? Oh, am I fucking weird? Oh, am I fucking crazy for that? Am I a sicko? Am I fucked up? Or is society fucked up? I think society's fucked up, okay? Batman has two hours to reveal his identity, or I'm gonna burn Gotham to the ground. Okay, how about we watch one more TikTok, shall we? Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I want us to get matching onesies? For instance, since I have the Stitch onesie, it just makes it so much easier if I got you the Angel onesie. If you don't know who Angel is, Angel is the love interest of Stitch, otherwise known as Brutzlipper. Brutzlipper, in my language, means love. So if I got you the onesie, and then I was able to sit there and call you Boo, just, just there, there goes my heart. There, there goes my heart. <laughs> Like the idea of us having matching onesies and being able to be kids together, it just makes me really, really happy. I've been told that this kind of stuff is very strange and very weird, so is it? 
Yes. Okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, at the end of the day, this content is harmless. I just thought the videos were a little silly and I wanted to uh, goof around a little bit. Get your fucking ass up and- Goof around. It seems like nobody wants to- Goof around. These days. But after watching a lot of these TikToks, I found out that uh, this Alex guy is quite the Disney adult. Is it weird that I want to sing Disney songs together? Brudzelper. And look, I'm not sure if Alex is going to like this video or not, but I don't want any bad- Brudzelper. Between us. So I thought I'd end the video with something that I know that he will like love. A Disney song just for him. Uh, so here you go. Uh, I just know that if I was a boyfriend, I would be the very best. But everybody says the things I do are weird. Uh, I have a serious question. Is this weird? Is it weird that I'm faithful and tall? Is it strange that I'll buy you clothes? I've been told I'm a really good listener And if you send me nudes I'll never show the bro <laughs> that was so funny. Hey, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, though. Inkbox. Tattoos are cool. All right, we all know that. But you know what isn't cool? Commitment and painful needles. That's what. Inkbox tattoos with For Now ink last one to two weeks and fade away as your skin naturally regenerates. It's applied easily right at home, no needles required. All you have to do is wipe your skin with the included primer wipe, stick the tattoo on your skin, leave on for one hour, and the tattoo fully develops over the next 24 hours. Also, inkbox tattoos look identical to permanent tattoos and they also don't wash off in the shower. And when it comes to what you can actually get tattooed, the limit does not exist. You can shop thousands of designs from their global artist community or create your own on their website. Or if you're feeling extra creative, you can use their tattoo marker and draw your very own tattoo on your skin yourself. And on top of all that, They've also done a bunch of really cool collaborations, like their Powerpuff Girls collection, Looney Tunes, Gorillas, Keith Haring, and even the House of the Dragon. Whoa! Inkbox is great for so many reasons, but I think it's just so cool that you can actually just give a tattoo like a trial run before you get it done permanently. Lord knows I should have done that with a lot of my tattoos. And some of you know this, but before I was a YouTuber, I used to work at Inkbox like full time. So you're hearing it from the horse's mouth, man. They are a genuinely very cool company and they really value artists and just personal expression and they really do uh, great work over there so so yeah click the link in the description try out inkbox get it for yourself get it for your friends and family as like a gift it's a really cool gift idea and yeah tell them i sent you okay thank you so much to inkbox for sponsoring this video back to me. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please press the like button because believe it or not, uh, one like equals one bougie boo. I don't know what that is. You can leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Again, this is just a little quick one. Sorry, I'm on tour right now. It's fucking busy, but I appreciate you for, for the support. Uh, press the subscribe button if you want. And uh, yeah, check the description. Come see me on tour. I got merch, Twitter, Instagram, all that bullshit. All right, that's it. I would stick around, but unfortunately I have to go. Um, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go actively seek out a burger. See ya. Oh, hey, it's Curtis. <gasps> he shaved. No way, what the heck? He shaved. He shaved he his shaved. mustache. No way he shaved. Is that? Is he serious? Yes, rumors true? the rumors are true. I shaved my mustache. I wanted to keep it, but I was threatened by People Magazine with violence because I was practically a shoe-in for The Sexiest Man Alive 2021, and they, they wanted to give it to Blake Shelton again. So just for my own safety, I had to shave it off. But it's all good. It'll come back bushier, bigger, and stinkier the next time. Okay, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, <laughs> What's up? How's it going? It is really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> okay, folks. 
I think it's safe to say that TikTok is pretty popular. And I feel like if you were to ask a boomer about TikTok, they'd probably be all like, it's bad, it's harming, it's harming the young generation. You know, boomers, how they're always doing this. I wouldn't say that, I'm the youngest man alive. But no, I'll admit it, I used to think TikTok was all bad, but it's good sometimes. And some people might say it's shortening our attention span and making us dumber, but dude, I've learned so much from TikTok. You got people like Hank Green, known only for being a guest on the very, really good podcast and nothing else. He's on there talking about science, teaching us cool facts. You got doctors on there teaching us about medicine and health. And you've got the freaking Sway Boys on there teaching us how to be savage AF. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god, my knee cracked. I'm not a sway boy, I'm a sway man. Yeah, move over, Dobrik brothers. There's a n- Oh wait, no, Dobre. Dobre brothers. Move over, Dobrik brothers. There's new grocery boys in town. So there's a bunch of stuff to learn on TikTok, but there's something that we're taught like really frequently when you're younger, but not so much when we're adults. And that is safety. When you were a kid, it was all about being safe. Safety was like the number one priority because they didn't want a dead kid on their hands. It leaves a stain. You don't want them on your hands. You're always told to wear a helmet, even though it was like lame to wear one for some reason. Shut up. Brain damage is lit. But riddle me this. If helmets were really good, they'd be called heaven mitts. So. Safety was always super important though. My Southern Ontario viewers will know what I'm talking about, but there was this place called Safety Village that we would go to every year like on a field trip in elementary school it was like this tiny fake village where you just you go and you learn how to be safe man you get to rip around in little cars there was a fake dead body trapped under the ice to teach you to not walk on a frozen lake that still scars me to this day mascot was a bunny i think it was fucking awesome man but if i went there today like alone to learn how to be safe be weird as fuck man especially if i had my mustache <laughs> they think I was like an employee teaching kids to stay away from strangers. So as an adult, we need another way to, you know, learn how to be safe. And that's where TikTok comes in. Today, we're gonna be looking at a few TikTok accounts that are all about teaching you how to be safe. So without further ado, put on your closest helmet or your furthest one, doesn't matter. And uh, let's watch some safety TikToks. The first account we're gonna be looking at is called Lean Bibles. I learned how to do this in the Lean Bible. Wow, so funny. Just kidding, fuck you. So this account posts like these computer generated, hypothetical, dangerous situations, and they teach you how to avoid them and how to stay safe within them. Uh, like this one, for example. I have a few questions, but the first one, what? So I'm assuming this woman was arrested for taunting these highway lions. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, the lion didn't even seem that bummed. It was kind of just like, huh? But then the police decide <laughs> that a fair punishment for taunting these lions is to launch her <laughs> out of a moving vehicle into that same lion pit. All cops are bozos, dude. That's a terrible punishment. That's like arresting someone for robbing a bank and then to punish them, you launch them into a big pile of money. Yeah, that'll teach you a greedy crook. Enjoy all that free cash. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Hey, shut up back there. <laughs> but hey, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a creative punishment. <laughs> okay, how about we move on? Let's look at another one. Maybe this one will be a little more relatable. Jesus, guys, this is my favorite Nicki Minaj song. The bees in the chunk, bees, bees in the chunk. First off, let's get this out of the way. How dare you post this and not put be careful. You deserve to be launched out of a moving vehicle into a highway lion pit for that. But what's the lesson here, right? <laughs> what are they trying to, what are they trying to teach us? Don't open your trunk or else bees will swarm you and then men will swarm you and spray you with fire extinguishers. <laughs> yeah, that's the weirdest part. <laughs> like, if these guys use fire extinguishers to get rid of bees, what do they do to stop a fire? Now these are gonna be delicious. Oh my god. Uh, uh, fuck, fuck. Uh. Yeah, you gotta come quick. It's out of control over here. Okay, okay. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh my god. What happened? We. We have to get out of here, come on. It's okay, it's okay, I called the authorities. They should be here. 
Any moment. Why'd you put so much emphasis on the bee? Okay, how about we don't get hung up on my grammar? The house is covered in bees, if you couldn't tell. What? Somebody order a beekeeper? Where are those bees? Oh, thank God, the beekeeper's here. Right over here, sir. Wait, hold on. I thought you called 911. Well, for a few bees? I don't want to waste their time. There could be a house on fire somewhere. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh oh Oh, no! Oh, my God. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh shit, can you call your beekeeper? I can't lose him, we're in love! What? You two are dating? Yeah, we met on Bumble. Oh, boo. I could have made a Tinder joke at the end of that as well, and it still would have made sense. Okay, we still haven't learned anything about how to be safe, so let's watch another one. Be careful. Man swallows 87 nails, seven push pins after a fight with girlfriend. Okay. Okay, <laughs> what are they arguing about that could possibly prompt him to do that, right? You never swallow 87 nails and seven push pins. Oh, she's right. <laughs> also, dude, it is so funny to think that like this is his natural response to any argument that he gets into with his girlfriend. <laughs> like you'd assume he'd just go get a beer, right? He'd maybe go to a bar, blow off some steam. But no, this guy just pulls up to a fucking Home Depot and is just like, hey barkeep. The usual, please. Trouble in paradise, huh? Yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> well, here you go, sir. Here's your usual. 87 nails and seven push pins. Neat. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Picked the wrong week to quit, huh? <laughs> Ow! Oh. <coughs> Sorry to interrupt, sir. I think the new girl has a question for you. Okay. Would you like another nail, sir? Well, sure, yeah. <coughs> oh. Okay, back to this video and all of their videos, I guess. It says, be careful on the top. And like, be careful of what? Be careful of the guy who just swallowed 87 nails and seven push pins? Yeah, I know, he's crazy. <laughs> or maybe they mean, be careful when you eat 87 nails and seven push pins. But no, if you're doing that, you're not being careful. You're not being careful to begin with. Like they put be careful on every single one of their videos, but they never tell you how to prevent any of these things or even what to be careful of. It's just, be careful. Like you can be extra careful and terrible things can still happen. Ask my parents. Okay, let's watch another. This one surprisingly isn't captioned be careful. It's like the one that isn't. It says man argument. So let's see what happens. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, like I said, you can learn so much from TikTok. Here's what we learned so far. When you argue with your girlfriend, you swallow 87 nails and seven push pins. When you man argument, you spawn two crossbows and go to jail. I think I'm finally starting to wrap my head around this whole safety thing. <laughs> so what are you in for? Man argument, us, us too. too. It's so funny to think every man argument ends <laughs> that way. <laughs> like imagine you go watch like a debate and then when whenever the moderator asks the question, both of the guys are just like, ah! Dude, I just don't understand like who's making them, who they're making them for, why they're making them. I'm just, the whole, all these videos confuse me so much. Like it looks like footage from either the worst movie of all time or the best video game of all time. <laughs> Whoever's in charge, props to them. I uh, love lean Bibles. You know, bi <laughs> Bibles have been pretty scrawny for the last couple thousand years. So I'm finding there's some uh, lean ones. Your Bible even fucking lift, bro? Lift spirits, maybe. That's about it. But surprisingly enough, this isn't the only account that posts videos like this. There is another one called Health Clinic, and they actually don't put be careful on every single one of their videos, which is nice, but uh, okay, it is their profile picture. So no matter what, you're always reminded to be careful. So let's take a look at those. <laughs> okay, well, this TikTok actually... Uh, unlocked a brand new fear for me because usually when I'm in a public restroom, I want to be in and out as fast as I can. Okay, I speed run shitting in public bathrooms. So if there was something that was forcing me 
to be stuck in a public bathroom for even a second longer than I have to be. I'm starting an argument with the first guy I see so he can shoot me with a crossbow. Just fucking kill me, you know? Also, putting aside the fact that they got there so fast to remove her gluey ass from the toilet seat aside, why did the Home Depot employees show up too, right? The fuck they do in there? Is that one of the duties <laughs> of a Home Depot employee? Hi, I'm Homer Depot. Welcome to your new job at Home Depot. We're happy to have you on board. <laughs> yeah, we like to joke around here a little bit. Now that you're part of the Home Depot family, it's important that you learn our core values. We like to boil it down to S, G, B, D. S, sell tools. G, give men 87 nails and seven push pins to ingest. B, be careful. And last but not least, D, drop whatever you're doing to see a girl's ass get ripped from a toilet seat. Just remember Home Depot's core values and you'll fit in better than 87 nails and seven push pins fit into an angry man's stomach. I still don't even know if we've learned anything about safety yet, so bear with me, let's keep going. Okay, so we got... Okay. Jesus. What the, Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> doctor looks way too stoked to be putting a finger in a guy's ass. Maybe all doctors look like that when they do that. I guess you never know what their faces look like, because you're facing the other way. Do you imagine <laughs> getting a prostate exam and then you turn around and your doctor is just like, spread those cheeks. Also the Home Depot employees, what do they do in there? Anything that has to do with shit or poo, the Home Depot employees are right there. They're freaks. Um, occupied. <laughs> Someone's in here. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, be careful. So after watching a bunch of their TikToks, it turns out that they use that same Home Depot clip at the end of like every single one of their videos for some reason. I'm sure they just reused it once afterwards and everyone fucking lost their mind about it. So they're like, you know what? Fuck it, let's just keep doing that. And it says in their bio that they're the creator of the Home Depot trend. You know the trend, right? You know the Home Depot trend? When the popular TikTokers will do their little dances and then they'll put in a CGI clip of Home Depot employees rushing into a bathroom stall. Okay, you know what? I'm getting fed up. We haven't really learned anything yet. How about we watch one more? and uh, see if we can finally learn some good safety tips. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, what an evil way to smoke weed. He just like screamed the smoke out of his mouth. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> that is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, I think. Okay, so the, <laughs> sorry, the caption is, be careful, don't leave. I think that means don't marijuana, don't smoke weed, I guess. Uh, so let's see what happens when you smoke weed. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, fucking pardon, man. Whoa. Okay, that took a big turn. Turn. Took a big turn. I don't think weed made him do this. I think he's just unhinged. I think he's fucking crazy. If someone goes. <sighs> I don't think someone would just be like, yeah, it's because of the weed. Yo, shit, this is why stoners are always asking for papers, right? Like toilet paper, they need to wipe the shit off their walls. Also, what's wild about this video is that like, someone smeared shit on a wall and that's not even the craziest part of the video. To me, screaming while you blow smoke out of your mouth, that's, that's gotta be the craziest thing that I've ever seen. Like if I saw someone do all of this, I wouldn't even comment on the poop on the wall. I'd just be like, why do you fucking scream when you blew smoke out of your mouth, man? I cannot get over how funny that is, man. Imagine walking out of like an office building, a bunch of people are having a smoke break and it's just everyone screaming at each other. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see how it can get any weirder than that. So how about we, how about we end it there? What did we learn? Obviously the big lesson we learned was be careful, but more specifically, be careful of Home Depot employees when you take a poo. Hey, more like Home Depot, am I right? Cut. What the fuck was that? What, I thought of a, a funny little joke. I thought I'd improvise, is that not okay? Okay, well we don't pay you to improvise. Okay, stay on script or you'll never work in Hollywood again. Do you think we're in Hollywood right now? Oh yeah. Also, no, I'm not gonna stay on script, okay? Home Depot was funny. <laughs> Sorry, it is pretty funny. See?
Now that's a sound guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's a great one, man. This guy's on a roll. I don't encourage him. Sorry. <laughs> but you have to stay on script, okay? No, I'm not going to stay on script, okay? This is. We have a I'm team. Curtis. This step. is my channel. Yeah. I can I can make yeah. jokes if I want. I can Come improvise, on, okay? What are you doing? You're going to let me do that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you anymore. This is enough. Bitch. I've been, I've been dealing with you for three fucking years, years man. You're bitch fucking annoying. You're going to bitch about it. You're going to bitch about it. More like Home Depot. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, press the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, also, one like equals one nail that I will swallow and seven push pins. Let me know if you want a part two because there's a bunch more videos that I had to cut out for just time's sake. So let me know if you want me to do another one because there's a bunch of these fucking videos and they're insane. But yeah, press the subscribe button because as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. You can check the description for the other things I do. My Twitter, Instagram, uh, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. I also got a gaming channel, Curtis Pogger. I do Twitch streams twice a week. All right, that's it. I would stick around, but I have to go, unfortunately. There's some highway lions that I have to taunt. So, peace. <laughs>